Hello YouTube viewers and random Robot Wars fans, so Robot Wars returned with episode 1 last night and how did it hold up? Well, it feels much more stripped down and simplified compared to past series. In fact, it feels more in common with a documentary than anything else, but with the greater emphasis on the teams, and that's something I really liked. It kind of fascinated me to see the teams fixing the machines, and also the great camaraderie in the pits too. Like, I particularly loved the bit where John Reed was actually helping Carbide try and fix their, I think it was their weapons motor. Uh, that was just fantastic, and I'd love to see more of that. For me, the arena was a little bit dark. I didn't like that kind of red and purple lighting that they were doing. It, it made it very murky and kind of hard to see. I'd much prefer something along the lines of what they do with BattleBots, where once the robots activate, the arena goes completely white. Just nothing but white lights gives you a great look at the robots and all the bits and pieces flying off them. A few people had some issues with the camera angles. I agree, sometimes they were a little bit off. The cameras are actually filming the show from behind the bulletproof blast, so that means it can leave the image a little bit murky and, and also kind of warped as well due to the design of the glass. One thing that kind of annoyed me as a major fanboy, and I, I, I'm really nitpicking here, is the fact that there were no opening titles. I mean, sure, I absolutely love what they did with the new Robot Wars logo where you see it kind of put itself together and and then it kind of spins around and the Robot Wars kind of name shoots out from the side of it. That was really cool and it made me like the new design of the, uh, the logo much more. But I can't help but miss the old opening titles. And I miss the old music as well, you know, the da 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 da. Like I would actually just walk around humming that to myself for hours until the doctors give me pills. But like, what am I supposed to mutter now that, you know, it feels flat, it feels generic. I don't think there was actually any music playing during the actual battles themselves in the arena, which was a little disappointing. And if there was, it was very, very low. I couldn't really hear it. And that's one thing I loved about the original series as well, where you could actually hear the music and the different types of music they used. It gave the fights this, this, this kind of attitude almost, and without them it feels very, very hollow and very lacking. As for the presenters, I really liked Ara Brain and Angela Scanlon. They worked so well together for this new format of the show, and I can kind of see why they didn't bring back Craig Charles. Dara was funny, he was engaging, he was actually invested in some of the robotics and, and that sort of thing. And what was really great is that Dara Brain wasn't just the main presenter and then Angela Scanlon just mucked about in the pits. It was nice to see the two of them actually did both contribute to hosting the show. They're co-hosts, there's not one main host and, and someone who just faffs about in the pits. And of course Jonathan Pierce is back, wouldn't be Robot Wars without him. I thought his commentary was good, but the actual quality of the audio was a little bit weak. So hopefully that's improved as well if the show gets a second series. Another great thing was Noel Sharkey talking about advancements in robotics. That was fascinating stuff. And I really hope the other judges get involved with that sort of side of it as the weeks go on. The house robots didn't really do very much in this episode. Dead Metal had uh, nuts at one point in his actual claws. I did, I, he didn't really bring the saw into any real great effect. I know he used it against Terror Hurts a little bit. Like Matilda's biggest moment was when she used the flywheel and kind of flipped Bam off over. But apart from that, there, there wasn't really much action. And again, Kill Lot was in the arena, and I wanted to see big, bad, new, improved, on steroids Kill a Lot coming into the arena and really turning things up. And it didn't happen, so that was kind of a bit of a letdown. It's interesting how this new structure happens, because in the original series, you had your first rounds, you had your heat semi-finals, then your finals. And if you were knocked out at any of those stages, that was you, pack your suitcase, you're gone. Whereas in this new series, in the second rounds, they all get a chance to fight each other and gain points, and the more points you have, that allows you to then progress to the heat final and so forth. I'm kind of undecided as to whether or not this is a good idea or not, because it seems a little bit unfair to some robots who fight really hard to get a good robot and knock them out, uh, only for that good robot to come back and completely trounce them. But, on the other hand, that means there's much more fighting, which, of course, I'm a big fan of. And it also allows a machine with a really, really awesome weapon, like Carbide, who didn't get the weapon up to full speed, or working correctly in the earlier stages, get a chance to redeem themselves and come back. So it's a bit of a mixed bag, but I'm sort of leaning toward it being a good idea. As for the fights themselves, some were good, some were alright. Uh, one of the ones that was alright was the first battle, the first four-way melee. I was really disappointed by Killy Cranky. They kind of looked like a smaller, more compact version of S3, so I was really expecting something big and destructive. But unfortunately, they just really didn't do much and they were knocked out first. 
and of course taking with them Razor. Now I didn't really expect Razor to do very well, seeing as you know they've got the crushing claw and that really hasn't changed since it was first designed. I didn't really expect Razor to do much damage and in fact he didn't, like with uh, Killy Cranky. I don't even believe he pierced the shell, he just kind of clamped onto them and dragged them around the arena and stuff. But to see him go out in the first round just by being pulled into the pit, it was very underwhelming, I didn't really like that. It was awesome to see Terrorhooks back after they were disqualified from competing in the 7th Wars, but I don't think they ever got that axe up to much use. I mean, they got a few hits in here and there, and then in the second rounds it just sort of stopped working because they had receiver issues. So that was a little bit of a shame, but even without the axe, they managed to stand up to Carbide. Took a few scores and scratches on the front, but they stood up to them, and they won without a weapon. That was absolutely brilliant. Another machine that impressed me that's a returning robot is Behemoth. Didn't really have high hopes for them in this new series, but they really blew me away. Like, I love how powerful that bucket scoop is now. Like, before it used to kind of just lift, whereas now it seems to actually flip machines over. The self rider works really well too, and they managed to reach the actual heat final. But of course, the one to watch in this episode was Carbide, who absolutely annihilated everybody. I loved the fact that they were able to rip the wheels off robots and send them scattering across the arena. Best battle in this episode? Well, there were a few of them. I love Behemoth versus Nuts. Like, just seeing Behemoth picking up those little mini bots and just firing them across the arena, that was gold. Like, I had a smile on my face the whole time. Another great battle was Behemoth versus Carbide. Carbide were spinning up their weapons, smacking into Behemoth. Behemoth was just taking it and keeping moving on and moving on. And then Carbide managed to hit Behemoth in such a way that it just buckled the scoop upward entirely. Behemoth had nothing to do, they were upside down, couldn't self right Carbide pushes them into the pit. It was brilliant. However, the worst fight of the night has to be the grand final. Behemoth versus Carbide again. Carbide comes out, hits Behemoth a couple of times, Behemoth stops working. And then just when you think they're starting to work again, they reverse into the pit and that's it over. Yeah. So those are my thoughts on the very first episode of the new series of Robot Wars. What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments. I'll be back next week to do another review for episode 2. But until then, you can follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. And please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Cheers for watching. Bye bye. For those of you wondering, that wasn't me in the audience. Come on.